everybody. Today I'm bringing you this layout with another photo from my nephew's wedding. I am lifting this layout by Christine Davidson. It's called Hello Happy and I found this on the Jelly Bean or Jelly Bean Soup blog. You can also go to my Pinterest board. I'm Kelly Oblack on Pinterest and find the layout in my um, scrapbook layouts. That's where you would locate that. The very first paper that I chose from the background is from Echo Park from the Capture Life collection. It's called the Love Script Paper. And I know I'm going to mount everything on it. That piece of paper there is the, it's craft colored, almost looks like wallpapers from Teresa Collins from the Hello My Name Is collection and it's the journal paper. And I like the way that looks. And then I am going to go and I believe I'm cutting yes the diagonal stripe paper right now that's from Le recollections from Michaels and it's called gold stripes and what I discovered when I cut that paper I actually didn't cut it um, high enough it's wide enough but I didn't cu I cut it too short and so now I'm trying to decide what to do about that because it's not going to look right exactly right with the way the layout that I'm lifting is going to look. And I will eventually figure out how to compensate for that, but right now I'm still trying to deal with it because I, you know, I'm realizing, ugh, it's not the right depth and it's too deep and it goes across the layout. There's no way I can piece it together anywhere. So I'm trying to figure that out, what to do here. And what I did there too is I cut some of the space off the side of that photograph now to make it a little bit smaller because I didn't like with the way the papers were all looking how that was sort of laying. See the paper should have gone higher up on that wallpaper piece there and it didn't because I cut it too short. So now I've shortened it on the sides, the width of the paper and still again figure on how am I going to compensate for this because it just I don't like the the wallpaper background paper and the gold stripe are almost the same size. They're very, very close to being the same size, so it's just not looking right to me, to my eye. You know, personal preference, but that's my eye. And I could have cut the wallpaper stripe paper down, but I'm going to figure out something else to do with it instead that will help with my dilemma. I really love the mix of the craft and black here. So this is what I'm going to do to compensate. I realized that I'm going to cut that a little, I cut that down off the top a little bit, but I just realized that if I position this properly, the black paper there going across will hide the seam of the wallpaper-like paper, for better, for lack of a better name for it. And so I, I'm changing now slightly the layout I lifted from just because of the fact that I need to compensate for that. And that's going to work great now that I've kind of got that figured out and you know once I do this compensation um, it just changes how where the position the photograph is positioned on this it's gonna it's going to change a few things but you know lifts are lifts right it's whatever you decide to do with it um, that happens it's you know you don't have to lift it directly some people do lift directly usually I use mine as a starting point and then sort of go from there and what I'm showing you there is I'm just kind of eyeing it to make sure that it's straight I'm using the plus signs and dots on the background paper to line up that paper to make sure that I'm gluing it straight to get my layers of paper straight and then my ETG keeps wrapping around itself this roll of tape is giving me a problem it wouldn't it's not the first time that this has happened. So I really like how these layers look together. And uh, interestingly, a lot of times when I have layers that are this light, I use some ink to set them off from each other, but I really just like the pureness of the paper in this particular layout. So I'm going to leave them 
with no ink on them. And now I'm getting that cluster all together because what's going to happen is I'm not exactly sure at this point exactly where on the paper this is going to go. And some of it will have to do with what, um, where I put things. So I was thinking that maybe a doily would have worked in there and it, I probably could have done it if I had gotten it into the layers just a little bit earlier. I thought about it between putting it between the, the first and second layers, but I just, just didn't want to futz around with taking the glue off of everything if I didn't really like it. So now I'm going through these um, cards from, it's it's a Mambi or me and, me, me and My Big Ideas pocket pages collection. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. Yes, I can tell because I can see the price tag up there. Um, and it is just called specialty cards. So I'm going through a couple of these, looking at them, trying to to decide what card to use. And I did the very first one. I did like the very first one, which is the you have my whole heart for my whole life. And um, even though that's probably more like a wedding set, which is sort of what this set well, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to gear itself to a wedding, but it kind of does. I got a little adhesive on the photo. That's what I was taking off there. Um, but I like that. I love that, you know, that my sister and her husband, you know, really feel that way about their children. And that's actually their whole family. My nephew who got married, the guy to the far right is my younger nephew who's getting married in just a couple of weeks. By the time you see this, he will have been married almost a month. And then at the time, the, the woman standing to um, the, well, to the bride's left is the girlfriend at that point in time of my second nephew, but now his, his uh, fiance slash wife. Fiance when I'm taping it and wife when I, when you see this, because they're getting married next weekend from when I'm taping this. So anyway, what I did there is because that three by four card is a little bit bigger, I needed to reposition where the photo was. And I like that better now because it's off to the right a little bit of that cluster of papers, of the layer, paper layers. It was a little bit too much centered where I had it. And that's kind of where, you know, it landed because of my original mistake. But that sort of echoes the, the Hello Happy title. My title is going to be My Whole Heart, um, but it kind of echoes the Hello Happy. Now, I have these cork bows uh, from Dear Lizzie. I love them, but they are really big and they're really thick. So I find them hard to use. And using more than one on a layout is crazy because it just feels like it takes over the layout. And I'm going to figure out how to get more than one on this particular layout. But, oh, I have a hard time using these as much as I really, really like them. They're so big. And for me to put three on a layout, I can't even imagine because it would take over the whole page. <laughs> so I'm now going through just to the side of me. I have all of my embellishments for this these wedding layouts. I put them in um, the cases with the dividers that you can get, the iris cases. And so I could, when I'm working with these wedding photos and when I work with the photos from my second nephew's wedding, because I'll be doing their wedding album too, I'll be able to do the same thing because their wedding is going to be black and gold. And that's a lot of what the colors that I used for this first wedding. So I'm going to scrap two weddings back to back that are basically the same scrapbooking colors. Although I get to do a lot more layering and things with the second one. So now the yes, although a little bit more informal, I can't imagine where else I would use that. So, um... I'm going to put it on this page because, you know, sometimes when you find the perfect thing you do. So look at that. There's another bow. And I'm like, hmm, I actually think I kind of like the way that looks. So, and then I realized that I haven't glued the paper down yet. So perhaps I need to think about getting the paper down too. And I'm using again the background sheet with the pluses and the dots to get it lined up properly. And that looks pretty good to my eye then. Now 
And there I wanted something else with the bow there, maybe to anchor the bow a little bit more, and I wasn't quite sure what that was going to be. This arrow was kind of cute, but um, it was too much the same color. That um, Those die cuts, by the way, I didn't tell you where those were from. Uh, they're from the Simple Stories, the Story of Us collection, the Bits and Pieces. And that's where those came from. As I was going through my case of things, I found these pearls and decided, oh, that would look pretty on this layout. And now I'm just going through some more cards that I have. I think these are also Mambi cards. Me and my big ideas cards. And, you know, trying to figure out, can I use one of those perhaps with this? And I'm just sort of testing because I think, oh, I could put part of it up here and part of it down below. And, you know, it looks okay, but I'm really glad I didn't do that. It's, the layer there is almost too small. At least, you know, for my eye, I would have liked it if it was bigger. And I couldn't get it under that layer there, but the more I looked at it, the more I decided I really just didn't like it. So I'm going to keep going through this and see if that works or if there's something else that I might be able to do. Great cards. They're actually really good, like backgrounds. So um, this would work great if you did these in a pocket album as well, too. Which I'm not doing either. These are the books are both going to be 12 by 12 layouts with four by six photo sleeves. And now um, I'm grabbing some things from the Kaiser Craft A Touch of Gold collection and those tags. They're, you know, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these, but they're only two kinds and they're all the same. It was like they were supposed to be for presents. So what that is, is that's the um, Kaiser Craft A Touch of Gold die cut pack there that I'm working with. I'm just looking for something else there to, again, work with that bow. I, I would like it a little bit more grounded than it is. And what I'm thinking here is, you know, I'm not going to use the whole thing, but can I use an edge? And the star was too big for the circle. I look at that frame and I'm like, hmm, I like the pattern on that, but is there enough space to deal with that? And, you know, what else can I use from this pack? And one of the things that um, I didn't want to do is I didn't want to put more words down there just because the I really wanted the tighter to, title card there that three by four card to really be the big feature so I'm going to cut the actual frame piece off of this and once I get that kind of tucked in there I really like it I'm like oh that works just great Except now I want something going out on the right and the left of the bow. So that will cause me a little bit of a problem having to do this. Okay, finally getting that down. <laughs> getting it down and then needing to glue it back down again. Isn't that funny? And now it just provides a little bit more grounding underneath that bow. And I like the fact that it's black. It brings some of the background into the foreground of the layout, into the layers. Especially since there's so much black in that photograph. It's just a touch more black in the papers themselves. Because there is black. The paper that the photo is mounted on is black. But it's there's so much white in it that it doesn't really read black black. Okay, now we're going to get the bow down. I told you this was going to give me a hard time. <laughs> and there's just a tiny little corner of the poke it up ed edge peeking through, but that's fine. Then I found these stickers that I haven't used any of them yet. And I did get them for these books. So these are um, 
the Momenta stickers and you can get them at Hobby Lobby. They're a khaki color and they're up on foam. And I just pick one that says togetherness and put that at the top. So now you have the craft or cork color in three different spots on the layouts. It just seemed to help bring things together a little bit more. And I'm trying to decide, am I gonna use the big pearls because they're so big or only the little ones? And I do actually end up using the big ones. I like the dimension this adds just because everything but those bows was so flat. So this really does a nice job of adding some dimension to the layout itself. Those pearls, by the way, are from Michaels and they're the rhinestone stickers and you can get them in the dollar or the dollar fifty spot now at Michaels. I'm not going to journal very much on this layout. I'm really going to basically just add the date at the very end of it. So I am just about done with this layout. I'm going to quick grab my American Crafts pen here. It's the 0 .05 pen that I deal, or that I deal with, that I journal with. So I'm just about done. Hope you are all well. I'll see you soon with another layout. Bye!